Okay, was last night even real? <laughs> Hey guys, it's Sarah. Okay, so if you haven't read the title yet, this whole video is just gonna be about Harry, just like last video, but it's all about him on SNL last night. He had two skits, he had two performances, it was lit, it was emotional, almost died, I was moist again. So anyway, here's the latest news that's been happening in the past 24 hours. Before the whole SNL performance happened, I had my live video up, I was ready, I was in bed, had my snacks, everything. It was like 11.30. I was like, okay, here we go. I started watching it. It was like two minutes in. Then the whole live video ended for some reason. Like I couldn't watch it anymore and I was freaking the fuck out. I'm like, I waited hours to watch this live stream and then it ends. So I searched frantically to find a new video link on Twitter. I'm like, guys, send me a link. And then I found a Periscope live stream and they were filming their TV. So that fucking saved my life. <laughs> How dare NBC do that to us? But anyway, NBC teased the fuck out of this whole SNL Harry performance thing. Before Harry was even on SNL, they were releasing all these pictures and all these videos and all these promo teasers of him. And I'm like, this is killing me. Like you're killing me before I'm even going to be killed by Harry Styles. This is not fair. So here are some of the promo teaser pictures of Harry Styles rocking the pink shirt, by the way, slay hunty. By the way, all these pictures right here are now the screensaver on my phone. And this says, can I just say that he could have went the typical solo star route? Like he could have came out all dark and mysterious and half naked wearing leather with women dripping all over him. And he could have went against the band and he could have become the rock star everyone always wanted him to be. But instead he's just just himself all pink and flamboyant and dorky and everything is pretty and bright and he's like here I am love me the way I am or don't love me at all and I'm so proud of him my strong baby this is the same man who cried about what people said about him look at him now I'm so proud look at him he's doing that yeah Harry is doing that this person brought up a very good point though remember back in like 2011 Harry was crying that people were saying mean things about him and he always cared what people thought about him now look at Harry motherfucking Styles 2017 bitch is flamboyant as fuck he's wearing Wearing whatever he wants, he's painting a nail. Harry is out there snatching weaves. And I'm so glad that Harry is showing his true self because yeah, he could have had a whole magazine shoot of him looking like a womanizer and going that rock star route. But no, no he didn't. Harry has embraced who he is and it's just so damn beautiful. And this is why Harry is my idol because it just comes to show that even a celebrity like Harry Styles can go from caring what people think to not giving a fuck. Anyone can do it. It just takes a little maturity, it takes some years, and we all can get there. One less fuck at a time. So anyway, before Harry even performed on SNL, they actually released some pictures and videos of him rehearsing his song, and this is what killed me. In these pictures, Harry is wearing a hat and playing guitar. Guitar. And yes, he did in fact play guitar when he was performing ever since New York. And I will talk about that song later. And this says, Harry Styles surprises fans with pizza and kiwi before SNL performance. Really? So as we all know, Kiwi is the name of a song on Harry's album. So everybody thought that Harry would be performing the song Kiwi because he was giving everybody Kiwi before the performance. But then he never performed Kiwi. What a fucking tease. So he just randomly gave people Kiwi? I'm telling you, Kiwi is the new Kale. This also says, we asked Harry why he gave us Kiwi and played ever since New York and he did that fucking shrug thing he does and smiled. Mm, I swear Harry Styles is a fucking tease. So like, was he originally supposed to play Kiwi but instead he played ever since New York? This says, I I asked him why he sent us kiwis and he shrugged and winked. He knew. He's so beautiful. Why did Harry hype people up with kiwi if he wasn't even gonna perform it? I guess Harry just loves kiwi. And oh my god guys, Harry is such a dark Larry. Niall Horan can step aside because Harry's the new dark Larry. So this says, Harry's first single was track 2, Sign of the Times. So like, what if his second song he does on SNL is track 8, Ever Since New York? Like that would be 28, obviously. But also SNL is recorded in New York and I'll fling myself into the sun if his first singles are 28. And this says he's actually doing it. Oh my God, he's performing singles two and eight. Also, he released his album for pre-order exactly 28 days before the release and Sign of the Times was released on April 4th, 2017. Seven plus four plus 17 equals 28. Okay, listen, is this even a coincidence? Why is everything adding up to 28? Why is Harry being a damn mathematician and doing all these math tricks and shit to equal 28? I swear, if there's any hidden messages in this album about 28. Mm. But guys, just the fact that Harry performed track 2 in track 8, he could have performed any other songs. Those songs could have been in any other order, but it made 28. 
I can't. And now on to the skits. Okay, so before I get into more detail about Harry's performances, I'm gonna talk about his skits first. So the first skit Harry did was him as Mick Jagger, and oh my god, it was so fucking funny. His face in the background, his fucking mouth, the sounds he was making. So it says a joke is made about Mick Jagger going solo, and Harry apparently says, if you're in a successful band, why would you ever go solo? Okay, yo, that's really important because that basically applies to Harry in One Direction. One Direction is successful, why would Harry go solo and leave his band if it's so successful? I wonder if Harry wrote that line. <laughs> so yeah, there's still hope for One Direction, guys. So guys, I'm going to try as best as I can not to be copyrighted in this video, so I'm only gonna show a few clips of everything. So here's a clip of Harry in his first skit as Mick Jagger. All right, let's go to Mick Jagger, something that keeps you up at night. Uh, well, uh, if I'm up, it's because I've got a little company, right? Uh, little manky panky. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying, but I know what you're saying. I don't know about you guys, but I just focused on Harry the whole time in his fucking head, his face, his mouth. <laughs> but did you guys see how accurate he actually looked to Mick Jagger? I mean, guys, look at this picture of Mick Jagger and then look at Harry. And now look at this other picture, Mick Jagger, and look at Harry. It's uncanny. They look exactly the same, and he's always looked like him. My dad saw Harry's Another Man photo shoot, and he's like, wow, he looks like Mick Jagger. And I was like, I know, right? And then, oh my god, the next skit Harry was in was hilarious. He actually got to sing in it. So in Harry's second skit, he actually got to talk more, he got to sing, and he even got to dance in it. And by dancing, I mean literally just jumping up and down, waving his arms. You know, Harry dancing, bad dancing, my dancing, dad dancing. This this one is actually my favorite skit because Harry got to act in it a little bit more. But when he started singing, I lost my shit. Here's the clip from that. Oh my God, yes he is, the girl I like. And suddenly, it's so clear. This is the best night of my life. Everybody sing it right. can't because <laughs> literally guys I was watching this skit and Harry didn't come in at the beginning so I'm like okay Harry's probably gonna pop up out of nowhere and guess what he did I expected that shit I had this sixth sense that Harry was just gonna come out of nowhere and the motherfucker did okay now into Harry's performances so Harry performed sign of the times first and then he performed ever since New York so during sign of the times Harry wore this brown checkered suit he looked fine <laughs> and before I go into more detail about this performance here's a clip from it yes, I'll be crying, it's a sign of the time You tell me that the end is near You gotta get away from me Okay, I gotta say, Harry did an amazing job. When he started that verse in the very beginning, he was so strong. Okay, here's what I love about Harry. You could tell he was nervous, but he still pulled through. He still sounded pretty confident. He was holding on to that microphone so tight because he was nervous, but he still hit pretty much all the notes. And if you guys didn't notice, Harry actually had a little bit of trouble hitting the really high notes at the end, but guess what? Harry made up for it, he improvised, he did his own notes, he even did a little dance, he pulled away from the microphone. Like, it was very unnoticeable that he messed up. Well, he didn't mess up, he just couldn't hit some of the notes sometimes. But guess what? Harry never messed up, his voice never cracked. So even though Harry was nervous, he made it work. And he wasn't on stage alone, he had his whole backup band. I just really hope that Harry thought he did a good job, because at the end of the performance, he kind of looked a little bit ashamed of himself, like, oh, I didn't hit the note. But I think Harry shouldn't get so down on himself. I mean, this is his first time performing alone in a while. And guess what? Sign of the Times has a lot of tricky notes in it. And he did pull through. And guess what? Regardless if Harry thought he did bad or whatever, this says, update, Sign of the Times just climbed up four spots after Harry's performance on SNL and now is number nine on iTunes. So yeah, the public obviously thought Harry did a good job. And guess what? He did. Harry showed amazing stage presence. And then... Harry performs ever since New York. Bless his fucking soul. We actually got to hear a song that we haven't heard 
on the album yet. Can Harry please release this? Can it go on iTunes? Can it go on Spotify? Like, we already heard it on SNL, so just release the actual song, please. I love this song. It's so chill and laid back, but still has like that rocky edge to it, and Harry was playing guitar. Guys, Harry is a true musician. When someone can sing and play an instrument at the same time and songwrite and also act, he is more than a trifecto. That is true talent when someone can sing and play an instrument at the same time. And guys, remember in the past when Harry was learning guitar, he wasn't good at it? Mm. He has shown that he can. Harry was on that motherfucking stage playing guitar live coast to coast on SNL in front of everybody. Millions of people. I am so proud. I don't ever want kids because Harry Styles is my only priority. He's my only son. He's the only person I should be caring about. So anyway, here is a clip of Harry singing ever since New York. So basically the whole song was pretty chill, it didn't have a lot of high notes, but then at the end Harry had his high notes and he hit those perfectly. Mm. It actually caught me by surprise a little bit. I was not prepared for those high notes. And it's kind of funny because Sign of the Times was like six minutes and then Ever Since New York was like exactly two minutes. That song was so short, I'm like, wait, why did it end? I want more. And just to hurt you guys, <laughs> this says not to be rude or anything, but, and then it shows Harry after his first performance solo and then Louis after his performance solo. I can't, why did they look exactly the same, like their facial expression? I know it kind of looks sad, that's why it hurts me, but oh my god. Louis and Harry are amazing. And no, Louis did not tweet anything about Harry performing on SNL, but I'm sure Louis maybe called him. And guess what? Maybe Louis was watching it on TV. At least I hope so, because everybody was telling me that Louis at Coachella and he's hanging out with Eleanor and all of them, but hopefully he made time for his husband. Also, speaking of Larry, this says, did you see the commercial after Harry performed Sign of the Times? It says, free Larry in green and blue. Is that a poster or a sign or something? Just the fact that SNL was live coast to coast and they actually showed that. But no, for real, free Larry. But going back to Louis, I think he was at Coachella because here's a picture of Louis and a fan at Coachella and then pictures of Louis and Eleanor. And it says, as usual, he's not happy, he's drunk. So here are the pictures of Louis and Eleanor and I'm cringing right now. I'm sorry to end this video like that, like it was all happy with Harry on SNL and then I'm like, oh, Louis and Eleanor at Coachella. <laughs> Listen. I'm sorry. <laughs> we also got pictures of Louie and Ollie at some post office. And then we got this picture of Louie off of Calvin's Instagram story of Louie in that cute little sweater and then the dog. Okay, first of all, when you put Louie Tomlinson wearing a cute sweater in a picture with a dog, do you know how many people you're killing? That's like the cutest thing ever. So anyway guys, regardless if Louie called Harry or talked to him or watched Harry on the TV, I'm sure Louie is still very, very, very proud of Harry for being on SNL and performing by himself. Self. And guess what? I'm sure Louis can relate a lot because Louis was in Harry's shoes before. He performed Just Hold On alone. Okay, so that wraps up this video. Hopefully you guys are still alive. I'm surprised I am. I am so proud of Harry and I can't wait to see more from him. Not only him, but Louis and Niall and Liam, even Zayn. But anyway, tell me all your thoughts down below. And like always, I make a video whenever I want, so like and subscribe. All my social media is down in the description. And I will see you guys later. Bye. You're my honey bun sugar plum, pumpy umby umpkin, you're my sweetie pie.